hi, how are you today? So for many years, people have showed up and described themselves as being in separation or we're in union or we were in union and then we separated. So I want to clarify some things about in separation. So let's get started, shall we? The first thing I want to let you know is being in separation is a crucial phase. You have to separate at some point. Even if you don't separate, it'll feel like things are making you somehow stay apart. Um, plans don't work out. Even I've even known people, they're going to get in the car and they have a flat tire and they sense like it's some weird thing. And I hate for people to think that there are forces against you or forces against your love or, you know, there's such evil in the world. There is a lot of low vibe stuff. The key is learn how to rise above it through the integration of your body. The other things we're going to talk about here. So when you're in separation, I want to tell you this because I've seen this for years. At some point, everyone separates. Okay, take that in for a minute. At some point, everyone separates. Can you even tune in and feel it out? Well, years ago, maybe people couldn't, or if this is new to you, if this is new to you, stick with my channel, because I'm going to explain a lot of things to you. But suffice it to say that it didn't make sense, and some of this doesn't make sense. It's not going to make logical sense. In many ways, it's a paradox, or it's like opposite day, okay? I'm going to just also say, if you can't tune in, you may not be able to feel if that's your real person. If so, go see my video on doubts. No, what you might not know either, because as things grow and people become aware of this or they start Googling things like super soulmate or something, activated persons, if you've had an activation or awakening, however you describe it, it's your spiritual awakening, it's your twin flame activation. You become aware of being a twin flame. Activated person, the majority of people who get activated are already separated from a lifetime ago or longer. So what this means is for some people, you may have actually been separated for a thousand years. You may have been separated for 300 years. You may not even be able to Tap in or tune into when was the last time you were together. There is a reason for that. You have to get rid of the garbage first. And you have to get rid of like those bad memories. You have to get rid of the things that pulled you down. You have to get rid of the things that literally chopped you down and decimated your life so badly you had to end up here. And I'm going to say another thing. We talk about ancestral things. You ended up in the place you need to be. In other words, you incarnated with the best possibilities for you to rid yourself of karma and also get yourself up and running, okay? Like, you deal with your family, you deal with the separation. So there is a sensibility, and my modality, Twin Flame Body, makes it so easy to not just deal with it, but to sail through it. Because... Much of this, you get activated, which enables you to begin the healing process or the purging process or the get rid of the garbage process. It's relevant to the severity of soulmate wounding and trauma bonding. And believe me, these show up. People trauma bond with people. They're both adult children of alcoholics or addicts and they find that as their common bond but is it really passion maybe maybe not I don't know and I don't want to judge unless I actually can uh, meet with the people and even then I wouldn't tell them hey you know blah 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 I would say separation can sometimes be an assist with this now it's not easy most of us want our partner, we want our real partner, we want our real person, we want the person who never leaves, we want the person who's got our back, we want our life partner, you want your existence partner. This is the person who is going with you through many existences, many experiences, not just karma, 
Karma was with soulmates. Karma ended in 2010. We're 13 years beyond that now. But if this is just coming to you, be aware you can make quantum leaps. My modality helps people catch up, build up, leap forward, and make those quantum leaps. So do you need trauma bonding? Do you need more soulmate wounding? Do you need to trip around out there with the wrong people, waste your time, energy, resources, money, energy, love, energy, love connections, with the wrong person. So in separation, what is the purpose serving with this? When you're in separation, I just want to explain you're an individual side of a unified, like you're one unit. That's really in union. It's like when you're unified, when parts of you begin merging, even across distances, even if they live next door to you, you're going to feel it. And yes, proximity is a factor. But you're not going to be in the wrong place because your body has the right connections to match and merge. The other thing to know is that as an individual, this is new. You don't lose your individuality. Through the integration of your light body, you actually enhance yourself, your personality, your wit, your intelligence, your kindness. And the one thing we really want that deep intimacy with our other half that no soulmate can fill, okay? This is why marriages fade away or why people tell you, you find you tend to find other things to love or you can sublimate, hey ladies, you can sublimate that love into the love of animals or the love of your children. Well, your children are going to get up and separate from you. If you're doing it right, your children should not be parasites on you. They should want to be independent. Just like you want to be an independent, high-functioning individual in a unified being. That's really what in union really is. Okay, A lot of people who live together really can't achieve those levels because they have not gone through the in-separation part or... They may have grown, they may have tripped around in some relationships and only to find that, wow, we haven't been together in a lifetime ago. Put it in the comments. Like, how long do you feel it's been since you've really been separated? Is it 300 years, 500 years? I'll give you a little clue. What is a favorite time in history that you really like? Is it like the Roman Empire is it ancient India? Is it ancient Egypt? You know, a lot of people lived in the ancient Egypt times, but that time span was thousands of years. You may not know exactly, but where did you have love? Where did you receive love? Where did you anchor love? Why would you pull the love back to you? Because those places have already been established with love. We're doing that again, and so we need these alignments. So, why separate? Why separate? The integration of your five subtle bodies. There are five major subtle bodies. And this includes the template. The template of relationship from 5D means you're relating to everything here, but from a 5D level. This is how the stars steer the heart. Okay, just like in that song, the age of Aquarius, this is how it works through you. You are, and you need to become an open channel. It is a solo, and it is in each of you doing this effort. You each have to do this. Even if you think in your head, your twin flame is doing nothing, you can't pick up the phone and call them. In separation, be in separation and do it through the connections that really hammers it home inside them. Without a hammer, maybe with a feather with using the force, like whatever it is, because not everyone, you know, responds to that heavy, like we're on a mission thing. In fact, they could go running, okay? That's not what it is. The first part is link up all the togetherness. What else? Why would you separate? You usually cannot develop true intuition, get your proper messages for the life buildup stuff, what are the life buildup stuff? Those are your next moves. 
those are sometimes when you take a little retreat, you're not resting on your laurels, but you're kind of formulating your next steps, your next plan. You cooperating, you're cooperating, you are cooperating with your higher self so that you can move forward, but you're each moving forward. And this isn't a race. You're not two racehorses, you know, going in tandem. You are helping each other, okay? You're not yoked to the, the stagecoach and, you know, trying to run the race together to get all the way on the Wells Fargo stagecoach to California. You have to be able to understand what is the purpose of the stages. True intuition, okay, now, the very last thing I'll leave you with, and there is much more because these are the benefits of your brand new light body, all the bells and whistles that it can have, and what my modality brings you through so that it opens it on you and them wherever they are, because whatever you do with me, it benefits both people. It develops your deepness with each other, like that deep, poignant intimacy, like that stuff you see in those passionate films or TV shows where you're like finding each other through time from some other lifetime ago. So leave it in the comments. Where do you think? Reach out to me if you have questions, but we have a great class on opening your channels. We have other webinars that we're doing. We have a workshop. Please check out the links below for the book the Twin Flame basic foundations are in that book to get you started. And we do sessions, webinars, health and well-being. This is so far beyond health and well-being. This is health and well-being from a 5D level. Please like, subscribe, share the video, um, share the love. And thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.